Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the phases and process in Scrum. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you are a student of a Scrum or Agile and uh, you are uh, studying uh, project management in a university or you are a uh, Scrum master and professional working, professional and working in any organization. So today's topic is interesting and I hope you would like this video so let's start first of all I would request to please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you so let's start friend phases and process in the scrum so what is actually a scrum a scrum is a framework which we used for the implementation of software or IT projects it is a, um, a, a framework which is based on agile approach and it says that we can uh, divide the project into multiple chunks and we deliver to uh, the uh, the project to customer in a multiple chunk or sprint approach actually so this is a very high level uh, definition or uh, uh, introduction of a scrum actually so now friend uh, what are the phases and process in the uh, scrum uh, framework uh, scrum methodology first of uh, phase or uh, first phase is the initiation phase in the initiation phase like uh, for example you are implementing a project a software project so what you would do the first phase is initiation phase in the initiation phase we can and we have to create the project vision project vision means that we have to define that actually uh, what customer want from us what is his objective what are his uh, aims to deliver the project what are his uh, objective for the whole implementation then identify the scrum master and the stakeholder a scrum master is a role in the scrum framework he is the person who has the uh, main uh, knowledge about core knowledge about the scrum body of knowledge and he makes sure that the scrum team and uh, the product owner they are uh, they uh, the process should be followed and the scrum uh, body of knowledge scrum methodology should be properly followed during the implementation then uh, from form the scrum team scrum team is a core team like software engineers software developers the uh, the quality engineer production deployment engineers so these are the scrum team the core team who is implementing the project then develop the epic epic means the uh, main story uh, high level of story that which we are going to deliver for example epic means for example you are want to uh, develop an e-commerce solution for example so it is a very high level story or user requirement then uh, create prioritize product backlog product backlog is the uh, is the complete requirement for the uh, for the product like just think of this product backlog as a uh, scope document okay you can think of this as a excel sheet as well in the all the requirements related to products are mentioned priority wise priorities would be set by the product owner then conduct release planning release planning means for example after every uh, four weeks we shall release the uh, we shall release uh, the deliverables to the customer so release pl planning as well like for example within two months or within four months we shall uh, deliver the whole project to the customer in which for example there are uh, four uh, releases will be there for example so release planning would be done in the initiation phase then the next phase is the plan and estimation plan estimation means uh, create the user story user story is a functional requirement of a customer for example customer can do the uh, payment through credit card in e-commerce solution so this is a user story it is a functional requirement okay customer can uh, browse the product back back uh, product catalog in the e-commerce solution so this is a user story then uh, in the plan estimation phase we have to approve estimate and commit user stories like how we will approve how we will, will uh, estimate and how, how we will commit the user stories user stories are the functional requirement then the create the task create task means after once the user stories or functional requirements have been finalized so you have to define the task task means like uh, how you uh, will develop how you will do the testing how will you the user acceptance testing and how will you uh, deliver it uh, what are the uh, database level tasks what are the software uh, software development tasks so what are the uh, user acceptance tasks what are the environment setting tasks so all those tasks will be uh, created here then estimate the task estimation means that how much time will be required how much cost will be required for example you are 
you need some hardware so what hardware which type of hardware needed what will be the cost how many resources are required which is what is the skill set of the resources what are the estimates of those resources then sprint create the sprint backlog a sprint backlog is basically uh, just think of this document as a subset of the product backlog product for example if there is a uh, product backlog of 40 tasks so from 40 tasks you take the 10 tasks it will become a sprint backlog sprint backlog means the requirements which you are going to deliver in the sprint a sprint is a three to four week time period then implementation phase in the implementation phase we uh, create the deliverables deliverables means what we are going to deliver for example you are going to deliver a mobile application so it is a deliverable you are going to deliver a website so it is a deliverable conduct daily stand-up meeting daily stand-up meeting means that uh, it's a daily stand-up meeting mean it is a 15 minutes time period meeting in which uh, the core team discuss that uh, what we have done yesterday what we are going today what we are going tomorrow and what are the risk issues we are facing so it is uh, just a 15 minutes meeting groom prioritize backlog product backlog so it is also a, a, pro a process in which we uh, the product backlog the all the requirements of the product will also be groomed will also be prioritized in this phase and it will be done by the product owner review and retrospective in this phase uh, convene the scrum of a scrum meeting a scrum of scrum meeting means uh, that means if there are any issues for example it is a, a process of a, a large project for example uh, like for example if there are 15 resources are there so we can make five five uh, te team members for each team and uh, from a scrum master from one team he will discuss the issues and problem with the scrum master of other team so it is will become a scrum of a scrum actually then demonstrate and validate the sprint a sprint whatever we have developed we showcase it to the customer so it is a, a review meeting that means uh, in during the sprint we have developed uh, the uh, deliverables we showcase it to the uh, customer it is a, a sprint review meeting then uh, the sprint retrospective it's in the sprint retrospective meeting we discussed that what went uh, wrong, what went right. In that meeting, we discussed that uh, it is basically a lesson learned meeting in which we discussed the uh, the problems, issues which we have faced, what things goes wrong and we have to avoid it in the future as well. So it is a sprint uh, a retrospective meeting. In the last, it is the uh, release uh, meeting. Release uh, in this phase, basically, uh, if we ship the deliverable to the customer normally it happens that for example we need to uh, deploy the release on the uh, pro uh, on the production for example so we plan uh, planning or is already done we uh, deploy the release on the production and uh, and the last we do the retrospective project it is the last phase process of the project in which we uh, do the retrospective or you can say the postmortem of the whole project that means that what went wrong for the overall project what goes uh, right for the overall project and what needs to be improved in the project so uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you